Hello my friend, today we're gonna make a frickin hard base house drop similar to Julian Jordan and FL Studio 20. We'll start by making a base line, and then we'll build the rest of the drop on top of the base. I started with a serum layer playing this base line. Now let's add some more base layers to make the base sound fatter and better. Now that we have a nice sounding bass, we're gonna add some mixing effects to make it a lot more powerful. Our goal here is to make the bass as dirty and powerful as possible, while still sounding somewhat clean. We'll begin by mixing the mid bass layers. I started by adding an EQ to really shape the sound, then I added a lot of compression using OTT, then another EQ to clean up the ugly frequencies created by the OTT, some distortion and compression using Camel Crusher, a soundizer for some more power, and a final EQ to shape the sound a bit more. This my friends is what the mid bass sounds like without the mixing effects. And this is with. Now guys, let's quickly mix the sub bass. We wanna make it really punchy and distorted. We're gonna take the sub bass from this. Into this. To do that we're gonna add distortion using fruity fast dist, compression with OTT, a soundizer, and an EQ removing all the highs. We're also gonna add this white noise sample that follows the rhythm of the bass line to make the bass fatter. and some bass shots on top to make it sound more interesting. Nice. Now that we have a nice bass line we're gonna add some tight drums and effects on top. We want the bass and drums to be the foundation of the drop. If the foundation is very solid and powerful, it will be easy to make a nice lead on top. So our goal is for the drums and effects to add as much power to the bass as possible. Let's start by making a basic beat. Now we're gonna add some percussion sounds following the rhythm of the bass. The percussion is very important in a Julian Jordan style track and is responsible for a lot of the rhythm and groove in the drop. We're also gonna add some toms. This is what the beat sounds like without the percussion and toms. And this is with. We're also gonna add a distorted ride. And some freaking hard steps at the beginning of every other bar. And lastly we're gonna add a few ear candy effects to make it sound more interesting. This is what we have now guys. I think that's a quite solid foundation so now we can make a freaking hard lead on top. But first, I would truly appreciate it if you subscribed and turned on post notifications. Alright guys, we want to make a really dirty and thick lead in order to really fill out the drop. We're gonna use this Julian Jordan lead sample playing this lead melody. We're also gonna add a white noise layer on top, playing the same lead melody. Guys, when we're gonna mix the lead, we want it to be really distorted and powerful, but we also want it to sound good and as clean as possible. We'll begin by adding an EQ to shape the sound a bit, then we'll add a lot of OTT to really push the lead, and a couple of EQs to clean up the harsh frequencies created by the OTT, some distortion and compression using Camel Crusher, another EQ, distortion with fruity fast dist, a soundizer to add a bit more power, a final EQ, and lastly a fruity stereo shaper to make the lead wider in the mix. This my friends is what the lead sounds like without the mixing effects. And this is with. Now we're gonna add a reverb with a very short decay. 
and we're gonna control it using this reverb automation. We're also gonna add a percussion sound playing on a few of the lead notes. After that we're gonna add this synth shot to make some of the lead notes sound a bit bigger. And we're also gonna add three more synth shots doing the same thing. This is what the lead sounds like without all of the extra stuff on top. And this is with. It sounds bigger, which is nice. Guys, we're also gonna add this cool fill for the end of the drop. I used the lead layers and made them play these notes. And I added a cutoff automation on the lead layers. Then I added this bass fill. It consists of the sick bass sound from Vital. Lastly I added some impacts. And some fill effects. I also added this hi-hat that starts playing 4 bars into the drop. Alright guys that was all of the elements of the drop but before I show you the final result I would truly appreciate it if you checked my future house sample pack. Link is in the description. Alright guys here's the final result. If you liked the video please be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys.